Hi, I'm at the Goggle Works. This is Ron Shira, and I'm with my friend Steve Weber over here. And Steve is a uh, is a woodworker at the Goggle Works, and uh, he and his students have put together this gigantic totem pole here, and it's still being a little worked on down towards the end here yet. Um, but this thing is what about 25, 30 about feet long? Twenty-six feet long, yes. Yeah. And how long have you been working on this thing? Well, it's been about a year and a half. It's been catch as catch can. Uh, we all have day jobs, so it's mm -hmm. when we find time to work on it, we work on it. And it's all carved in to it. It's just a big, it's just a big tree, right? Yes. Uh huh. Actually, this tree got damaged in the ice storm January two two Januarys ago, and a friend of mine took it down and donated it to us so we could do this totem pole. Wow, this is beautiful. This is really stunning. Look at this. Wind chime earrings, yeah. Uh -huh. The three figures at the top, they call them the three watchmen. Uh -huh. And their job is to look out in all directions and warn of any danger or anything that's coming up. And there were three main fellows, or three large contributors to the goggle works, Mr. Boscov, of course. Uh -huh. Mr. Miller. Uh -huh. So they represent Mr. those people. Right. The second figure is Sunakwa, and she represents the executive staff of the Goggle Works. Uh -huh. And this person with the lollipop. Well, the story we got on Sunakwa was she used to gather in the crying children, take them home, and take care of them. So uh -huh. that's one of the children that she took home to take care of, just like the executive staff and the the people that work at the Goggle Works bring the neighborhood children in, the school children, and try and nurture them and teach them the arts and give them some place to go that's educational. Well, well this is really impressive. This is the very hawks. There's Mother Hawk with Baby Hawk, and that represents the artists and the teachers here at Goggle Works. The mission statement of the Goggle Works is to nurture the arts. And the mother hawk is feeding baby hawk who's upside down and teaching and nurturing, just like the artists and the instructors do with the people that come to the goggle works. Wow. The turtle, that's representative of the local Native Americans, the Lenape tribe, that was their totem. Mm -hmm. And finally at the bottom we have beaver chewing on a chew stick, and that represents the wood shop where this was created. Beautiful. And then we have a little bit down here yet, which is yet to well, be developed. Well, actually, that's going to go in the ground. Oh, this is going to go in the ground. So this is technically done. It's finished. Wow, fabulous. We're trying Great. to get a date to set it up. We're mm -hmm. looking forward to seeing it stand up and down instead of laying down. Well, when that happens, you let me know. I'm going to come and take shots of it. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's great. Okay. Well, I'm with Steve Weber. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you. The students did a fantastic job on this. I think it's just a wonderful piece of art. It really it is. It should really be an asset to the community and the goggle works. It really is. It really is. Thank you, Steve.